What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here reviewing today in Plus Plus on the PlayStation 4. This is a game with a simple concept that's executed brilliantly. You are taking the role of a ninja, trying to bounce your way through deadly levels, and along the way, you're gonna die a lot. At its heart, this game is a physics-based puzzle platformer. Your character can run extremely fast, and you're gonna have to use every ounce of that speed to dodge the obstacles. Each level has the same goal. You have to press a button to open the exit and get there before time expires. The problem is, your path is filled with springboards, booby traps, and even shadow clones who can kill you with a single touch. In++ does a fantastic job of never letting you get comfortable. For example, this map here. This homing missile is right on my tail. I had to use the wide open spaces to get to the goal before it got me. Now, the very next map, though, had these extremely tight corridors and turrets everywhere I went. This actually was a completely different strategy that used the same core concepts. It constantly keeps you on your toes. It constantly keeps pushing you to be better at the ever-increasing challenges. In the single player mode, you have over a thousand maps you can unlock and play on, but the truly brutal experience comes from the maps being built by other players. This map editor gets me really excited. I'm so fascinated to see what fans make. In fact, this level you're seeing here, this is something already made by somebody, and trust me, this was unbeatable. I spent 30 minutes trying to climb this deadly tower and got nowhere. If you get bored of playing alone, you can also play couch co-op with two, three, or even four players trying to tackle special challenge maps built for multiple members. The problem is, there's no online play. That means if you want to play this game and try out all these extra maps, people need to come over. Now, I don't have anything specifically against that, it just feels weird to have a game come out in 2015 that won't let me experience it with people all over the world. I do want to put in a small warning that at times this game can require a large amount of patience. Even though each level only takes about 90 seconds to beat on average, you will have to try things over and over again. Sometimes to get that perfect jump in, you'll have to try the same jump 20 or even 30 times. Luckily, since the design is so well, the gameplay is so solid, I never felt bored. I always felt pushed to my absolute limits. Although it constantly gets harder at an even pace, you feel rewarded. Beating a map actually feels good, and you can even unlock these strange color palettes to give it an even more retro or vibrant feel if you want. Okay, so we've heard a lot of good and a little bad, but let's head over to the ratings board and put a big number on it. I am giving in plus plus on the PlayStation 4 an 8 out of 10. If you like a tough but fun platformer, this game is absolutely for you. Long jumps and fast action keep you hooked until the very end. Thanks so much for watching gamers, this has been Dreamcast Guy. Please give this video a thumbs up, and if it's your first time watching, subscribe for future reviews. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.